hello friends welcome to another video in this video we are going to do a weekly analysis on the commodity markets we will look for different uh, possible trading setups in the market and talk about the different confluences factors that we have in order to support our trading decisions so without wasting any time let's get started first of all we are going to start with the uh, copper now as, as we can see the price is moving in a channel in a down channel and we are consistently making lower lows and lower highs in the market starting from here as we can see we have high we see starting from here we have a high low lower high and lower low after making this lower low the price is arranging between this red zone and the green zone so right now we do not have any possible trading opportunity in the market what i'm expecting i'm expecting the price to break out of this range if the price break below continue suppose if the price break below then if the price break below then we'll be looking for a possible retracement back into this green zone to look for a shorting opportunity otherwise if the price break above now once the price break below, that's going to be quite interesting because we know that the price was under this resistance for a while also it's moving in a trend channel so if the price break above it will break above the resistance also it's going to break a break out of this trend channel so we might have a bullish bias to and price might have a break above close and retrace back into a zone to go long but as the price is already making lower lows and lower highs so we can say that this is going to be the previous low so once price close above and hit this resistance zone we might also see a rejection from this zone to get a pullback into this zone to continue higher or it might be a rejection to completely move the price down and continue the downtrend so that will be interesting to see what happens in the coming days we have different possibilities on this trade on this setup so that will be interesting to see what happens in the coming days we have different uh, possibilities on this pair so next let's talk about corn f if we talk about the corn guys for the corn if we see we are consistently making lower lows and low highs starting from here we have the low we are not counting this as a low because this did not close below the previous low so we have this low and lower high lower than the previous high and then we have a lower low after making this lower low we were expecting the price to hit this support and resistance zone or a high confluence zone to find an opportunity or short opportunity on the smaller time frame to go short but the price is still trading around this support zone so for now if the price retraces back to this resistance zone we will be looking for a shorting opportunity on the smaller time frame to go short or if the price continue down from here and break below this previous low in case of that we will have a new lower low so we will be waiting for retracement back into this green zone to have a lower high and possible shorting trading setups to go short so on natural gas guys ever since the price broke above this resistance zone i was expecting the price to hit and retrace back to this green zone to give us a bullish trade but that's not happening and the price is ranging and consolidating in this area for some time now so right now if the price retrace back to this zone again i'll look for a long opportunity to go long and if that is if that doesn't happen and the price close break and close above this resistance zone again i'll be waiting for the price to retrace back to this zone and look for long opportunity on the smaller time frame so that is guys on natural gas if we talk about the soy f as we can see in soy f consistently we are making lower lows and lower high starting from here we have the high low lower high lower low lower high lower low after making this lower low we are expecting price to make a lower high or retrace back to this previous resistance zone to give us a short trade shorting opportunities next pair is us oil so as we can say us oil the price is consistently making higher highs and higher lows starting from here we have high high low high 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 low high 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 low 
and then we have the higher high higher low and now we have the higher high and now the price is in range and consolidating between this low and this high for now i do not have any bias but if the price retreats back to this previous support zone then i'll be looking for any kind of long opportunity on a smaller time frame and as we as we can also see that uh, the moving averages are going to act as a support to the price so that's it on uh, us oil if we talk about the wheat f guys wheat f we can see the price was in a downtrend for a while we're starting from here we had the high low lower high lower low lower high and lower low after making this lower low the price is right now here so if the price break below this low and this previous low then we will we are going to continue the downtrend but if the price now break above this red zone then we will be waiting for any kind of retracement back into this zone and possible long opportunity to go long so now let's talk about the silver as we can see price is moving in our channel and uh, for now it looks bearish starting from here we have the high low high 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 low high 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 low high 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 low high high and after that price broke and closed below the previous low now once the price closed below the previous low we were expecting the price to hit this zone and give us a lower high in order to continue the trend for now price is at the support zone and if the price break below the previous low we will waiting for the price to retrace back to this zone and give us a short indication on the smaller time frame to go short now as we talk about the conferences on the trade guys we have this strong zone as we can see we have multiple retest on this zone also this trend channel is going to act as a resistance to the price and moving averages are also going to catch up with the price which will indicate us to go short so we have many confluences on this trade as well once the price break below the previous low so now last pair is uh, gold and uh, let's start the analysis on the gold starting from here we have the low high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high after that price broke below the previous low made a new low and uh, since then it's retracing back higher now we are waiting for any kind of retracement back into this zone and if we find any trading setup on the smaller time frame we can go short on this market so that's it guys this was the analysis on the commodity markets i hope you enjoyed the video and if you really did like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. See you in another video.